Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader, known as Fijian Traders. This is Mr. Singh. Navia, ticker symbol NVDA. What a Friday! When high of nine hundred and seventy-four dollars, but we came all the way low. A last of even more than hundred and ten dollars a move on uh, Navia. So. What are we looking at, folks? I'm gonna cover a lot of fundamentals, also on the technical side. So don't go anywhere. I am still invested on the stock, right? I'm still invested, heavily invested, and I do believe this stock is over a $1,200 stock, even higher than that. That is my target price. But I'm excited what I see on these pullbacks. We need these pullbacks, and I'm gonna talk to you why we have this pullback right from the get go. Um, actually, in two hours on Friday, the market was open, and after that, from as soon as we went 974, we came low of 683 dollars. After market was closed, was 850 dollars on Navia. So, fundamentals. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys what we're we looking at. One of the things is the top ALs all stock to buy in 2024 in March is Microsoft, Navia, and Dell Technologies. Navia, there are smaller oil stocks that can offer more excitement, but don't underestimate how much higher the lead the leader can go still. Like I said, I believe this stock it is gonna be a game changer on that. I surprise it gives me a feeling how Tesla used to do it in right before the pandemic. Um, and we're moving over 1200 to close to like 1600 to 2000 before the split happens on Tesla. But this is very exciting news for Navia. Navia uh, shares dropped a, a significant stock struggle, right? What happened with that? Navia hot stocks made some eye opening moves lately. The big reversal was like today through hasn't happened more than two years. The chip maker stock has recently been down more than 5% and raising and 5% earlier in the session. Shares has none fall raising at least 5% of intraday since January of 2022, according to Dow Jones data. Today's move comes with so-called significant seven tech stock poised to log a down bid, but all Navia is poised to finish in red for the week, but only Apple and Alphabet were rising today. Also, what was was happening? We know the unemployment. The data came on on when SPY, Dow Jones, Nasdaq all were down on Friday due to the high employment rate came on that. Also, stocks were climbing today as bond yields trumbled after the February unemployment blosters the expectation on Fed's again on cutting begin to cutting interest rates in June. So something to keep an eye, and that was a kind of AFA down effect on that. Also, neighbors track on the largest percent decrease, well, as I kind of mentioned, where we add, right? So kind of has a snapshot up to month to date was 11.7%. Year to date was 78.55% on that. Uh, down to uh, like all time closing was on Friday that happened on March 7th was 4.58%. And it's like an upside of 52 weeks was 285%. What a run we have, are seeing on Navia. So, what are we looking at it, right? It is common. I did mention on my previous video that you will see that. On the five-day chart, we have been, you can clearly see that the 60-day was my, my pink line, who has been a... A moving average um, has been acting as a support time and time and making higher, higher highs. But on Friday, we had this downtrend pattern. We're going to shift the gear. We're going to shift the gear to a one month. This chart reminds me of SPY 500. And we went always there when they had this massive run. We broke through, right? You can see the blue line, which is my 60-day EMA, has acted as a support. And time and time, every time we kind of came close and break through. So the next, if somebody is looking at it where I am lo looking to add my call option, folks, where I'm going to having my call options coming up and it's going to be 800 and 835 dollars, I assume. Yes, 835 dollars and 28 cents. Even though one time it break, it kind of broke through far than that. I dropped off 
uh, another hundred but something that I'm gonna keep an eye eight hundred and thirty five dollars for a long-term call options when it drops on because I know as the pink average uh, the pink moving average which is my six uh, 200 email and it is gonna bounce off on that because time and time trend line do not lie folks do not lie you can clearly see that time and time we came and broke and that the six the 60 day email the blue line on the six months is also sitting at 833 so 830 to 835 is an area for i'm looking at it very closely now to add my call options coming up because we have this huge gap down the next level is gonna be it's 719 dollars because that is a six month chart do i see it coming around there I can see testing this blue line and breaking it out right and it can come and bounce back again and making higher highs if it doesn't hold right eight hundred and thirty dollars so eight hundred thirty that I'm gonna be keeping out very closely between eight hundred to eight hundred thirty five if it doesn't hold and it keeps dropping then 719 might be coming in play for a if somebody's looking for a swing trade and that's something I am very particular because I am came in the game at around seven hundred dollars. So where if it drops below seven hundred, hey, it comes start coming. Then I'm gonna share my shares and my start my new position on that to lock the profit. But if it doesn't and starts making higher, where I'm gonna jump in to get my call options. Not a final advisor, just doing my due diligence and my technical analysis on stock. So I'm not telling you what to go, what to buy. This is my plan. What I'm trying to do. And I'm going to share with you guys on the next video if it drops on that and I will be going to purchase some call option for a long term of a $1,200 call options, which is too good, too spice, too cheap and couldn't resist to do that. So something to keep an eye. Also, on the year today, I know you guys must be having a great weekend watching this video and Sunday mornings, which are going to be published and having a wonderful day. 600 and 69 around there 670 we gotta keep an eye which is gonna be the two moving every sitting lows over here i am not worried about it i like i said i am not worried about it the next the next is gonna be even sitting right over here at 830 dollars you can clearly see the gap over here at hector and where it been trading on that so when we had this gap down we had this gap up so 830 dollars is something that we gotta keep in very very closely and gonna have that also the order flow you can clearly see that we had a lot of sellers on the news came out and pushed the price down right a lot of us on that the growth capability on this stock on the current basis is 6.4 percent it is a phenomenal phenomenal rating on that whereas analysis have 56 analysis is still saying buy strong buy of 33 and buy a 55 percent the high is 1400 my target is 1200 to seeing it but 1400 is absolutely is going to be game changer where you might see an option of split you might see an options of coming in and the price but once he breaks the thousand uh, there is nothing going to be stopping that coming to a 1400 it was going to be a massive upside on that but it is coming it's dropping it's a healthy pullback it happens i've seen it time and time where it has done it and where i have logged in and started my new position either for a call options absolutely at a discounted price couldn't resist on that so let's see what monday tuesday comes in on the market if we're gonna see a more downtrend pattern coming in which i can see it happening it i can clearly see it dropping and testing that level right here on the six months which is the blue line which is sitting at 835 dollars 833 dollars and if it breaks that, then definitely 719 might come in play. So we got to be very careful on that. But before that, I am very confident to see that $783. So two key levels, even though we break out, you can see that on the six months, we did kind of coming to a close very soon on the six months and $833. But if it, sorry, it was my three month chart, my apology, my three month chart. Um, you can clearly see that we kind of break down on that aftermarket with $866. So 
if 830 doesn't come in, $783. So two key levels, you got to keep an eye, $830 and $783 and then $719 are the three key support levels. We got to keep an eye. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Next video coming up, showing my portfolio back again on if I'm loading shares, but definitely I'm loading in my call options though. Thank you very much and have a wonderful once again a weekend, but don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button and turn on the notification so you don't want to miss anything out on Avda or any stocks you invested on. Thank you.